All right. I need um, an a. This is the last one we have to do. The ultimate GameCube tier list maker. Someone made this just for us. Oh my god. They literally made this because oh, I complained about there not being a good enough uh, okay. GameCube list. So here we are. I have not played this Batman game. Bomberman Jeters was a huge fucking disappointment. Uh, probably low tier, but I had to play it to really decide. I haven't played this. Fuck that game. Uh, Pac-Man Fever? Yeah. Uh, what would you Fuck it. it. Shit tier? I had it, and I never wanted to play it because it, it's fucking so lame. Yeah, it's shit tier. Um, Sonic Is it the director? Demo Collection? Oh. No, Gems Collection. Okay. I had this. All I would ever, I think this is the one I had that had the uh, the Sonic Boom video in it, and that was all I did was watch that video. So if that is the one, it's mid tier just for having <laughs> that. This is a Charlie's Angels game. No thanks. Um, haven't played Madden or baseball or Bionicle. <laughs> Tony Hawk's Underground. I never. I don't think I've I actually never had it, it for GameCube. Um, I don't know this one. Uh, is this like eighteen wheeler? Or something. Tony Hawk 3 was one of the best Tony Hawks. Probably high tier. I ne- I don't think I played it on GameCube because I think it was also on N64. And I think I played it on N64. But I could be wrong. Um, Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball Z I haven't played. haven't played. Another Bionicle game. Billy Hatcher. Billy Hatcher is fucking... I've played a lot of the minigame. But, like, the actual, like platformer is that what you would... the controls are so it's fucking really confusing bad. and difficult and i've tried playing with my friends one time for a gamecube chats i think it had to get thrown away but uh it was a fucking nightmare um i don't know it's probably, probably not low very tier good. it's I, low tier i'd have to i'd be willing to give it another shot um haven't played this one cell damage is a game that i did play a lot of it's a party racing game where you just like uh you you beat each other up it's really not even a racing game at all. It's just a, a, a death match where you are in cars. Fantastic. Um, and it has wacky cartoon characters. I eventually sold this game because I didn't like it that much, but I regret it. Um, but there is an HD version for sale on like the PS4 now, so I thought about buying it. I would probably put it in mid-tier. Um, I would have to reassess it by playing it again. Sims 2 Pets, did you ever play this? I had a Sims game, but I think I had it for... No, I had it for Xbox 360, so I never played that one. DDR. You ever played DDR 2? I never played DDR for the the GameCube. No, wait. This is is not DDR. This is some kind of arcade treasures game. It just happens to look like a DDR. Donkey Konga is a god tier. No. That, wait, is Donkey Konga the, the, the rhythm game? Yeah. Okay, well, I haven't played that. What Would, would you sincerely give it God tier? Because it does have, like, the shittiest track list no, of all time. No, it does. Time. I'm mainly memeing, but I played the shit out of this game with my family because, like, I had siblings and stuff, so... We have Donkey Konga and the drums, so we can experience it for ourselves. Okay, I'm going to honestly put this game, though, in um a very high, high tier. Okay. I, it's really Fair. fun. I haven't played the, it. The so congas I like I they, judge. they work fine. There's other rhythm games that like are more fun probably, but it's fucking Donkey Konga. Yeah. You want to play the congas, the Pokemon OP? Uh, Don't kid yourself. So I have not played Beautiful Joe two because I never beat the first game because it's impossible. Haven't played Drill Land. I thought this was a Game Boy Advance game. Um, maybe it's a Japan only. Ikaruga, I fucking was terrified to buy this for the longest time because everybody, all anybody says about it is that it's super hard. Um, I finally downloaded it uh, and on emulator and fucking played some of it. Really solid fucking uh, shmup game. I suck at these games and I'll probably never beat it, but I think it is good. So I'm gonna put it in high tier. Word. Um, would 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 throw myself at again if I ever decide that I just want to dedicate like a week of my life to mastering a shmup. It would be on the list of potential ones. But like, I do love Toho though. So um, SSX, I never played any of them. Some racing games. Donkey Konga Two. Did you have two? Worst track. It has a bad track list. Didn't have two, but uh, I'd probably put it in, like mid tier. Okay. It's the same game, but like. Wave Race Blue Storm, I would put in high tier. It's, I did a whole video on it, so if you haven't seen that video, please watch it. If you'd put that Metroid in Prime. high tier, maybe I'd put Donkey Donkey Konga in top tier because like I yeah. did. 
It's hard for me to decide because, like, I haven't played it recently. You didn't play that much Wave Race Blue Storm. I played it. You tried. It's hard as fuck it's to really learn the hard. controls. I mean, once I had nailed down the controls, it was a lot more fun. Um, and I also just have, like, a lot of respect for it as a well-crafted game. But it is hard as shit uh, to learn. You're right. You're right. Um, Metroid Prime is absolutely god tier. I have to fucking edit my video about it. Uh, but yes. I, I love it. Um, Wario, Wario World. World. Ooh, is this high or top? I did enjoy it quite a bit. I fucking hundred percented this game. On, Dude, top tier. Yeah, I, I like me some Wario games. Um, it it had a lot of frustrating parts when you're trying to get a hundred percent. There was like platform sections that I think I spent an hour and a half on. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, the fact that it inspired such passion is certainly worthy of uh, praise. This is the um, just the version of Ocarina of Time that also comes with Master's Quest. I feel like it would be cheating to put this in God tier because yeah. it's just Ocarina of Time. Um, I'm going to put it in Haven't Played because I haven't played Master Quest. So I'll get back to you. Piano 3 I never played. Animal Crossing is fucking great. I would put it in top tier. If not God tier. I haven't played it in a long time. But the amount of of shit that is in Animal Crossing still blows my mind to this day. Mm -hmm. um, the internal clock on that game goes for like 60 years or something like that. That's incredible. Of like unique possibility. That's incredible. Uh, Fire Emblem, uh, I think, yeah, the GameCube game I did not like very much. The aesthetic of it is very shit. Um, I gave up on it pretty early. I don't know if I'd put it in low tier. We'll put it in mid tier. Uh, Mario, Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Did you ever play it? I think it was a rental game. I don't think I played much of it. Um, I think my family probably played more of it. I don't think we liked it as much as the original Paper Mario. For... We're going to mark it as haven't played. Yeah. We haven't played it. Uh, I don't have high expectations. It's considered the best one, like by really? far. Really? Yeah. It's also considered one of the greatest games of all time. So I don't think that I got a good enough chance to play it. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I'm gonna mark. Because like I have a lot of memories of uh, the N64 no one, House. but like, um, Killer Seven I'm such is a fucking Killer Seven is fucking the the most aesthetically awesome game ever right, made. Right back. But it's also uh, like really hard, and the controls are weird, and like. I couldn't beat it. I got, like, 60% of the way in, and I gave up. Um, and then I watched somebody else do it, and they made me feel like a chump because <laughs> they were so much better at it than I was. So we're going to put this in high tier. Uh, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. <sighs> if we're talking about the actual game, low, low tier. tier. But if but we're talking the about Chow the Chow Garden, Garden and the mini games and just the memories, I have and, to put it in mid tier. And City Escape. I have to and put it in City Escape. Yeah, which the we music, know you all played City Escape. The music is incredible. A hundred million times. Um, all right, here's a hot oh take: God. Twilight Princess. I can't Snore. fucking do it, man. I've tried to play this game like four times progressively making it a little bit farther in. This most recent time, I made it up to, like, I was getting to the third dungeon, and I just fucking couldn't take it anymore. The game is boring and frustrating, and I hate all the dialogue and text. Um, I don't really care for the aesthetic of it. It looks muddy and shitty. Um, I'm going to put it in... Oh, God. If I'm being completely honest, I might have to put it in low tier. I, like, really wasn't having that much yeah. fun playing it. I dropped it. Um, spicy, I was mostly frustrated. Uh, fucking Simpsons Road Rage. I think I, I literally, like, from where oh, I'm sitting, it looks it? like rape me. <laughs> Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventures. I haven't played enough of it to make a okay, proper judgment. My on uncle it. stayed with us for, like, a couple months, and he, like, fucking played that game for hours and hours, like, three times over. Mm -hmm. I've never played it, wow. but it looks fun. I haven't played much okay, of Kirby, Kirby Air Ride Air Ride, either. the story mode, is, like, really underwhelming. I've only... Like, the only parts I really enjoy are the multiplayer, just because, like... I've heard the multiplayer is really good. It's, it's great, but, like, it's not 
great. You know what I mean? Hmm. There was a guy. A, it, I don't feel like it aged this, well this either. One, this one gaming YouTuber who's uh, not that great, but okay, uh, Sunder. He did a video about how Kirby Air Ride multiplayer was like his favorite video game or something like that. It's, but, it's fun and there's a lot of things you can do uh, with well, it. Well, what would you score? Because I haven't played the, it enough. Including the... Um, including everything, just holistically. Including everything, I'd probably say, like, a low mid-tier. Okay. Like, if we put Sonic Adventure Battle in there. I'm going to put it in mid-tier for now, because I want to play it. Uh, yeah. We do have it, and I still haven't played it yet. Uh, Baten Kaitos, I watched a lot of my brother play this game, and it was really fucking interesting. I want to play it. I will make a judgment then. Shit tier. Shit tier. Shout out I to actually copies. have two copies of this game. I have it for the 360, and oh I have it for God. the GameCube. It was I... on the 360? Yeah. Shadow? Yeah. You mean the PS2, right? Maybe. Yeah. I have. It was I not have. The 360 are you era, sure? Right? Yeah. It came no. Out but, the yeah. PS2 and GameCube. Yeah, era. you're right. You're right. Um, uh, I don't know why I have two copies of it. Somebody just like knew well, that I liked Sonic, Shadow so the they Hedgehog gave it to me. Is miserably bad. This is the only game that I, I got literally this game on release because I was so I excited for it. Don't... Dude, I think. <laughs> and then my. I'm sure we did too. <laughs> Victor, Vic, I never played it. And Victor I had played to it guy. and was pretty. Oh my god! I think Victor tried to convince himself that he liked it at first, <laughs> and then just kind of gave up. But uh, <laughs> this is the only game I can't even watch people play. No, I tried to watch no. the Game Grumps play it, and it made me it's want to vomit. Fucking awful. Uh, because it's just the visuals are fucking the visual design of that game, and the fact that you have to like constantly like stop and like. Do a fighting thing. Oh, my God. I don't know what the fuck they were thinking. I have not played... Is this Mario Strikers? Because it says Mario Kart. No, it's Mario Kart Double Dash. But it also Double is Dash? Mar oh, never mind. It's Mario Strikers over top of Mario Kart Double Dash. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, that That ain't the cover for Double Dash. Yeah. I know um, the cover for Double Dash. Well, I haven't played Strikers. Me neither. Star Fox Assault. Um, when I watched... Brandon Tolentino play this when we did a Let's Play of it. I thought it looked pretty fucking ill. The The graphical style of it is very cool, especially on a CRT. I think it's best played on a CRT because um, it's got the beautiful 60 frames and it's just like really bright and poppy and exciting. But uh, the, the thing is I tried to play this recently and you have to constantly mash the A button to fire the gun and it's not that comfortable to do on the big ass GameCube A button, so I kind of like stopped after the first couple missions because my hand was already like on fire. Ouchie. So I would probably put it in mid tier, maybe even low, but it's hard to know. I haven't played that much of it. I never played this Crash game. F Zero GX is the best racing game um, on the GameCube, possibly of all time. Super fucking fun. I'm gonna put it in high tier. I haven't played it in a long time, but uh, it was a fun multiplayer game. The yeah. single player mode is impossible. Like, Mission 2 is impossible. I've only ever played it in multiplayer, but uh, it's fucking great. Uh, it's we've got Nobody great. Ever Brings Me Gifts Anymore! <laughs> Definitely shit tier, uh, but a good meme. Uh, Melee, yeah. god tier, obviously. Probably the yes. game I spent the most time playing uh, of ever. anything. Uh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I haven't played that much of this game, but I do it. like it a lot. Uh, the it, It's a little repetitive, and the multiplayer is retarded because you have to use a GBA link cable. you got to order those on Amazon. They probably have, like, third-party ones. It's not worth it because the multiplayer sucks. Like, it's yeah. really bad because one of you has to carry the crystal chalice. Yeah. So at all times, one of you is doing nothing. That's um, a bitch job. And you that's have what, to look down at your little GBA for. game monitor to, like, manage things. It's fucking... <laughs> the multiplayer sucks. Uh, I'd probably put it in high tier based on even just the aesthetics. Of, I'm, I'm, sure I'm kicking f Zero up to top tier. I don't know why I put it in high tier. Yeah, you plebe. I forgot that there was, you know, more strata here. Um, I apologize to anybody whose knee-jerk reaction to that was, What the fuck?! Uh, Prince of Persia Warrior Within, I have not played. Geist, I tried to play on I Am Games. I thought it was not not that fun. Um, I think it has some interesting ideas, and I didn't get that far into like the part where 
it's like the point because it starts off as just a generic first person shooter that kind of sucks and then you turn into a ghost and the idea is that you possess things to do stuff but it's very much like adventure puzzle type game i don't know i can't see playing it again i'd put it in both here crash racing i didn't play eternal darkness i played like eight hours of and like a lot of people like this game because it's psychological, Lovecraftian horror, and yes, the story is pretty interesting, and there's there's cool stuff about it, but the actual gameplay is, like, frustrating. It's, uh, the controls are really whack. I'm gonna put it in mid-tier. Time Splitters 2, we tried to do this on I Am Games for a video. <laughs> um, it's got the weirdest difficulty curve ever where, like, certain levels on easy are just a breeze and then other ones are, like, insanely painful and you have to beat every level within, like, a certain time frame in order to unlock the next difficulties. But you have to do it, like, three levels at a time. So, like, if you get stuck on one and you just want to play the other ones that you like on harder difficulties, you can't because you're stuck on this other level. Very fucking frustrating. I would put it in mid-tier. There's a lot of good things about it, but there's also a lot of things that piss me off. And it also only has, like, nine levels. Um, Custom Robo. I haven't played this in a fucking eternity. I watched Victor play through this twice. The story mode has a lot of long, cheesy, unskippable cutscenes. Uh, but it's mostly... It's a game where you customize robots and fight each other. Controls are not that amazing, but the, the idea of it is a lot of fun. I would put it in mid-tier. Luigi's Mansion, I would put in high tier. Mm -hmm. It's great for a, a one-time playthrough, and I can see how some people could get really into it if they love the mechanics, but, like, it's a little too straightforward. It's like, if you beat it once, you really feel like you've kind of seen everything. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Doshin the Giant, I have not played. I don't know what this game is. Mario Kart Double Dash. High tier. Sounds I never good. had Double Dash. I only Sounds had the N64... Of zero, oh. but uh, it's really fun. All right, I played the shit out of that game. <laughs> uh, Pikmin, Lots I think I would put in things. top tier. I beat Pikmin just recently, finally after a long time, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And it also left me with the feeling of this is a game that you could definitely play over and over again to see if you can do it better. <laughs> and like, there's a lot of strategy you can use. I mean. I watched a video of someone, um, like, because there was certain, when I was on the, the final level, it was, it's, it gets hard. And, like, I don't think you're expected to actually beat it on your first try. Um, but I watched somebody do that last level as, like, a guide, and they had beaten the whole game within, like, half the allotted time. Jesus. You know, you can, and with no deaths. No Pikmin deaths, which I don't even know how that's possible because fucking I lost so many Pikmin to just like... Glitches? Not even glitches, just the fact that the way that they follow you is like, it's easy to lose them. I mean, I guess yeah. you just have to account for it. You know, you just have to like not if, carry I mean, around a hundred behind you at all times. If you know, you know the right way to walk, there's probably yeah. like a certain path through each like level that is like guaranteed they won't get lost. Yeah. Um, Sonic oh, Heroes? Sonic Mega Collection is the oh, one it's... I had. Not Gems Collection. I haven't played that. Mega Collection is the one that had the uh, Sonic Boom Just song. fucking Sonic um, games. Never played Rebel Strike. Never played this Hulk game. Battalion Wars is pretty cool. It's a... Uh, it's like a third-person shooter tactics game, kind of. Um, it's almost like Valkyria Chronicles, but not really... Uh, I don't know, I'm struggling to remember it because it was one of those games I just rented and blew through in an afternoon and then never came back to. But I do remember liking it. I don't know if it's mid or high tier. Probably mid, but maybe it's high. We, we'll find out one day. Samurai, oh, Fantasy Star Online episode 1 oh, and 2 yeah. is god tier. Other than Smash Bros, it's the game I spent the most time playing. The game, The gameplay loop is just so mindlessly satisfying <laughs> that you can just grind in this game forever. And I don't know why it's always fun. Uh, what the hell is Monkey Ball Adventure? Uh, I don't know. I, I don't, don't know. think this is Super Monkey no, Ball. No, it's not. It's different. I'm trying to see where Monkey Ball is on the list. Yeah, there's Super Monkey Ball. I don't know anything about Monkey Ball Adventure. Soul, Soul Calibur, Calibur 2. 2. Top tier? Yep, top tier. I would tier. say top tier. Um, Ultra fun. Yeah. I used to wake up at 6 in the morning every single day before like elementary school to play the story mode. Oh, yeah. Because it'd be the only time I'd, like, get a chance to play it. 
love the characters, love yeah. the feel of Shen the game. Shen is super nice satisfying uh, attacks and everything. A lot of customization in the way you can make things. And uh, there's fucking Link. Any game with Link in it is automatically... Well, I mean, we've got a game with Link okay. in it that I put in low tier It's just automatically <laughs> top tier. Uh, WarioWare or, or Wario... I don't remember what it was called, but um, I haven't played it. Uh, Odama, this is a fucking weird game where you have a microphone that you blow into in order to roll a giant <laughs> pinball to kill uh, soldiers in a Chinese war battlefield. That's incredible. Yeah, I still haven't gotten to play it. Oh my it. god. Um, Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes, which is a remake of the first game. I've, I haven't played... Well, I played like... Actually, I played like halfway through it in like 2005. Um... I'd probably put it in high tier. I was having a lot of fun with it. I think I got stuck. But, like, I know a lot of people consider it to be worse than the original version, even though it's, like, an HD remake. But, like, they also redirected all the cutscenes, and a lot of people don't like that. Tales of Symphonia. Based on how I feel about it now, I'm going to put it in high tier. I still think it is a solid RPG, but as when I played it as a teenager, it would have been god tier. <laughs> Uh, I haven't played Beyond Good and Evil. Um, I haven't played this Tomb Raider. Is that Raider. five? No, it's seven. It's I hate seven. Mario Party 7. Yeah, Mario I agree. Mario Party 7 is the one that we did uh, GameCube chats on, and it was just infuriating. Um, this is a game if you play if you want to hate your friends. <laughs> I would put it in low tier. It's enraging. Metroid Prime 2. All right. The, here's a real controversial take, probably. I've only played a couple hours of it. I don't like it at all. I think that it is the Dark Souls 2 of Metroid Prime. Um, but I haven't... I'm going to mark it as haven't played because I will play it. Because I love Metroid Prime. And it took me a long time to get into Metroid Prime. But Metroid Prime 2 feels like it was made as frustrating as possible as the like the, like that was the design theory was just make it as frustrating as possible uh 1080 avalanche i never played donkey kong jungle beat i did play i liked it but it's so fucking hard that i did not make it that far and the controls you know trying to play a platformer with bongos is not exactly the most natural I'd love to fit. Give this game a try i would love to give it another try as well i'm gonna put it in mid tier for now um, the Herbs is like a Sims clone. Yeah, have you ever played it? I want to. I'm, right, we'll I'm curious about it. Uh, Time Splitters 1. Wait, I'm trying to remember if... Because we did all three Time Splitters, didn't we? Or did we not have one? I think you played them all, right? Because Tom didn't own the it first felt one. Like but I don't remember if we bought it. an endless amount of Time Splitters. We played a hell of a lot of Time Splitters 2. And then we switched to 3. And Tom really liked 3. Even though it was basically just a Halo clone. Um, I don't remember the first one. I'm going to put it as haven't played because I can't remember if we played it. Uh, Resident Evil 2, I have not played on GameCube. Bots and Kaitos Origins, I haven't played. Veronica X, I haven't played. Which New which one? Is that Nightfire? Um, I think that's Nightfire. Is it? Is that the cover you remember? Uh, the other one I don't remember. This is from Russia with Love. I feel like that's. Will you look it up for me? Because I've I've played Nightfire. Oh, hold on, all the I'm looking through. through to see if it's in here. Because I didn't. I the one you have, I don't think has a cover like that. I think I have a different cover of it though. All right, let's find out. No, Nightfire. Yeah, see, that's the one I. Yeah, I that's definitely have. the box that I have. Um. Yeah, that seems to be the cover. Yeah, so there's I don't know a what this there's a is. bunch of 007 games, but uh. All right. I would rank um, Nightfire like a... I think I might have played a demo like of a Rogue Leader back when the GameCube first came out. Uh, so, I haven't played. Uh, Beautiful Joe. This is a game I really wanted to love, but it's so fucking hard. And the controls are weird because it feels... I mean, I felt like there was a like a of stiffness to them and like there wasn't a sense of flow, but I think it's just that you have to really get good. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. I'm going to mark it as haven't played, even though I have played it because <laughs> I'd have to play it again. I've only ever uh, played it on like the demo disc. Oh yeah. Did you ever have that one? No, There's like not. a demo disc with like Sonic, uh, DX, that, and something else on it. 
Have you played Chibi Robo? No, I haven't, unfortunately. Namco Museum. I think I might have played this, but it's just a bunch of Namco arcade games. I'm going to mark it as not played. Uh, Pikmin 2 I haven't played yet. Uh, Puyo Puyo Fever. I don't think I ever played. Resident Evil 4. This is a top-tier game. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. um, I know a lot of people would probably think God-tier, and that's completely fair. It is an amazing game. The first, like, four hours of it when you're in the village are definitely god tier. After that, when you go to the castle, which makes it the bulk of the game, it definitely is not as great. I mean, the game is long as shit. It's, like, 20 to, 20 to 24 hours long. Um, two fucking discs. And, uh, you know, the different sections have very different flavors. But, um, I mean, the opening hours are so fucking memorable. There's no way that you couldn't consider it a gaming classic cars <laughs> is that star... lego star wars uh is that lego star wars it's lego star wars 2 uh i definitely have played that i think i played through the whole first one i don't think i played two do you have a score for it uh it's mid-tier okay i would say that's probably true of every lego yeah LEGO anything game uh the fucking dance dance revolution mario mix i haven't played it burn Gotta out have it. Mario Party 4? I don't remember playing 4. I've played all of them. That one doesn't leave much of an impression. I'd probably say, like, low, because I remember most of the ones for the Um, Mario Golf sucks. You don't like Mario Golf? If I like, I played it a little bit with my friends for GameCube chats, and we were just, like, bored. But we didn't play that much. I don't know. Have you played it? I think it's a fun sports game. Where would you put it? It's a party game. Uh, I'd probably put it in... Uh, I don't know if I would give it... Mm. I think mid is probably fine. You think mid tier? I think mid's probably fine. Unless you okay. think it's low tier. Because I would put it in low tier from what I play. I'd put it in mid tier. I enjoy it. If you like golf games, it's probably one of the best options you got. Now, Mario Power Tennis, on the it's other hand, awesome. I put in top Hell tier. Yeah. I love that game. It's my favorite mindless fucking back and forth while you have a conversation type of game. Um... I don't know. This is Mario Baseball. I didn't even remember a Mario Baseball. Yeah, it does not. Uh, Super Monkey Ball is definitely top tier. Hell yeah. Hell um, yeah. I appreciate I had, the Monkey Ball love. As a kid, all I ever played was the mini games, which are okay. But, like, the main game is the draw. It's just really fucking hard. It's super addictive. But it's, it's good as fuck. It's like you know that you should be able to do it. But yeah. it's... It, it is infuriating, but it's good. Uh, Wind Waker, I put in God, God tier. tier. I love the Wind Waker. Hell yeah. Um, one of my favorite Zeldas. I made a video about it five years ago. Um, haven't played Tony Hawk. Uh, Crash. Fantasy Star Online Episode 3, the weird card battle RPG game. Um, I haven't played it. I watched Victor play it, and it was very weird i definitely would love to make a video about it one day um not that anybody probably would give a shit uh resident evil remake i can't really say that i've played this because i played some of it but on pc the hd version and it is somewhat different so i'm gonna mark it as haven't played haven't played this one haven't played this one monkey ball 2 i have not played have you no only super monkey ball mario party 6 uh, that one is okay. I put that in mid-tier. Okay. I'm impressed you can distinguish them. Yeah, Mario Party 6 and Mario Party 5 were, like... Uh, Alien Hominid was a Newgrounds game that became a GameCube game. It, um, is just basically, uh, Metal Slug. It's way too fucking hard. And as much as I appreciate the aesthetic, like, in terms of that it's very unique and it's, like, one guy's thing, uh, I don't really care for it. Uh, so I'd put it in low tier, personally. Mario Party 5 is, in my opinion, the most fun Mario Party for the GameCube, but it still is mid-tier. Okay. It had, um, the, the microphone peripheral, and mm. all the minigames for that sucked. Skies of Arcadia Legends, I used to own this. I had played, like, probably at least five to ten hours of it but i never got that far and then i ended up selling it which is probably a mistake i definitely would like to play it so i'm gonna put it in haven't played because i'm reserving my judgment 
Resident Evil Zero, never play it. Did you play The Sims on GameCube? Nope. All right. In television, I didn't even know they made one of those. Uh, Another Beautiful Joe, uh, Crazy Taxi. Wait, I did play a little bit of Crazy Taxi on an emulator. It it seemed like I understood why this game is fun, but it was not really for me. I'd probably put it in mid-tier. Um, so, Six of Arcade Collection, Tony Hawk 4. Tony Hawk 4 is where things started to get too big, where they tried to put too much in the game and too many, like, tried to make it too Grand Theft Auto-esque, and uh, that started dragging the series down. So I would probably put it in low tier as compared to the other. Well, Tony Hawk 2 is also not that great, but well, maybe it deserves mid tier. I don't know. It's not bad. It's just nowhere near as good as the others. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Burnout 2, some fucking Defender. I don't know. 13, I never played. Uh, Mario Sunshine. Sunshine. I'd put that high tier. I think that's fair. I haven't played enough of Sunshine to truly get a sense of it. Um, like, I've played it here and there over the years. It, I had difficulty with the controls. And you can't play it on an emulator because it really uses the the R... Um, the fact that the R button on the GameCube has, like, a pressure sensitivity. Yeah. And uh, so if you try to play it on a different controller, it doesn't really work. Um so last time I tried to play it was on an emulator and I could not get past like an early challenge. I think, I think we have my copy, so we can yeah. give it another try. Well, plus now I can just emulate every GameCube game on the Wii. So it's true. Uh, it's true. Die Hard something. I don't know. This is, is the Z- wait. Of this is Ocarina Majora's of Time with Majora's Mask. I think there are multiple. Uh... Oh, the other one is the one that has Ocarina of Time and like some of the other Zelda games. Like it has yeah. several of the older ones. Um, I actually had this one, but I didn't have the other one. Sonic Adventure DX sucks. It's not good. Low tier. Definitely low tier. Uh, Pokemon Coliseum sucks. <laughs> I would consider it low tier. Me too. You can make the judgment. Me too. Oh, we did a whole Let's Play on it. Um, Same problems as XD. Gale of Darkness. I haven't, I, haven't I haven't revisited it. I think the story is probably more... I don't know. I put it in low tier. I've, right. I've played enough of it. I just remember it being War of Coliseum. I haven't played. Haven't I still have played, to beat Coliseum haven't played, haven't for played. my sanity. Did you ever play the Jimmy Neutron game? <laughs> I like how you asked me, no. Haven't played. Uh, haven't played One Piece. Bullshit. Simpsons Hit and Run. Actually, I think this is the one that I rented one time, but I don't remember. Sonic, Sonic Heroes. Heroes. I never played Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes. Um, <laughs> it's left here. Oh, have you played it? Yeah. All right. It's not good. Okay. I believe you. Uh, I might even be compelled to put it. Let's put it in shit tier. You think so? Yeah. I've heard I that really... it's not as bad as uh, as some people think, but uh, I don't know. I didn't like it. Uh, Harvest Moon. I've had Magic Melody. That's the one that I had. This, there's A Wonderful Life, and I guess the other one's probably Magic Melody. No, wait. I don't remember. The one you have is A Wonderful Life. Yeah, you're That's right. You're right. I, I just think that... The other one is more popular. Um, high tier. It's fun All as right. fuck. I have not played it, so I will let you be the judge. Uh, if you haven't played this one. I haven't. I only played one. Mega Man X Collection I have not played. I did have the original Mega Man Collection, and I hated it because Where Mega Man Where are the is Mega Man Battle hard. Network games? Um, there are none on this list. Yeah, what the hell? That was GameCube, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know why. Pac-Man Racing, I haven't played. Ty, I never played. Incredibles game, didn't you have this? Yeah. For a movie game, it's it was fun. What would you rank it? Um, I can't feasibly give it a mid-tier, can I? Low tier. All right. Low tier. Um, I've heard Aggressive Inline is good, but I haven't played it. Blood Omen 2, I haven't played. And Dave Miro, I have not played. So out of the ones we've played... Oh, boy. Um, Amazing Island should be on this list. Yeah, uh, where's... Why are all these Amazing fucking Island. sports games and fucking other bullshit that nobody... Racing games that are with real cars and Bionicle games? What the fuck? All that can be Amazing cut. Amazing Island is everything Put on I Amazing wanted Billy really Hatcher to be... Put that Put in on a... Uh, probably high tier... What else is missing that's important? I know there's other stuff that I've played that's not on here. Right. I and mean, they got Bomberman Jeters, but not Generations. Generations was better than Jeters. Um, 
I, I don't know. I'm sure there's plenty of shit I could think of if I sat here all day. Right. Well, that's it for the tears. I hope you all enjoyed um, what was probably close to three hours of oh tear listing. See you later. Bye, again.